This is Make a Geek, and I'm Dan. This is part two of my picture frame making video thing. Uh, at the end of the last video, it was kind of an abrupt cutoff because uh, I ran out of storage on the camera over there. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't really warn you that it's about to run out of storage, it just ended, um, and I was in the middle of doing stuff, so I didn't do anything else about it. Uh, but I did carry on and finished cutting all the tenons, uh, glued up the frame, um, and I've cut a piece of backboard to size. So where we are right now is, uh, as you may recall, I had a little bit of difficulty with this one last time, um, particularly this corner, uh, which is I sort of over-routed a little bit. So I figured today I would spend a little bit of time just trying to make a little patch for that. Um, just to see how much better I can make it than, than it is. Zoom, so that's that's the gap that happened where I kind of partly routed over the end before I realised I wasn't supposed to be. Right, so now we have... Here we have... Here we have the wedge, the space, and uh, we now need to kind of shape it in a little bit around that curve. After sanding one, and now we're looking it's a little bit, let's see, off of this side, and see what that bit looks like. It's, um, it's got this notch out there. Let's see how it fits. That is beautiful. Hopefully, you can see, let me get you a really, really tight zoom. Pretty tight. Obviously, I could have just could have just mitered the corners and glued it and stuck it and such, and not faffed around with tenons and clamps and stuff. But where's the fun in that, huh? Where's the fun in that? You've got to give yourself some challenge. Give yourself something to talk to YouTube about. We're continuing our picture frame project, uh, got all the last bits now, uh, the last of which was a sheet of acrylic, nice and flexible but the strong and clear, um, has arrived this week, it is ever so slightly larger than it needs to be just by um, a few mil on each side, so first things first, just going to strip the edges down to the right size, and we'll get it fitted with the layers, figure out how we're going to hold them in place, and then hopefully it will just be final fitting and done. So it's a nice even 2mm cut, just by going a little bit steady. snug fit along this side which is good, happy with that. Snug fit is definitely backboard on here for width. The actual picture itself won't add a great deal. See that the board comes nice and nice and flush. So I'm probably gonna make four uh, retentions uh, just for the middle of each side. The idea is that they will pin here and just rotate in and out as required. So we didn't lose any in the sanding process. We have four little tabs. These are 5 8 inch, um, so 15 mil. 
it'll be fine. I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers just to hold the, the pin so that I don't whack my fingers. That's it. Okay. doing this kind of thing in a garage is that kind of the static charge of pulling that sheet off probably is just sucking dust to it or like a magnet. Right, here's our picture. That's the bottom, this is the top, so let's obviously we want to keep it centered. Okay, that was the end of the project. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have made it through this far, then I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, the next project coming up is going to be a business card holder uh, made out of this lump of cherry. So uh, hit subscribe and you'll get notified when that's ready. Thanks a lot for watching.